Hi there, my name is Lawrence Tyndall here at Glidefast Consulting, and in today's ServiceNow tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and apply a catalog UI policy to a variable on a service catalog item on the service portal. Before we go into ServiceNow, I want to quickly explain what a catalog UI policy is and the benefits it can provide. So a catalog UI policy is a client-side feature that controls the behavior of variables that are included on a catalog item form. Catalog UI policies can perform functions such as make variables mandatory, show or hide variables, make variables read only, and clear values within a variable. Catalog UI policies are great for showing and hiding variables when needed on a catalog item form. Implementing catalog UI policies enhances the user experience for your end users as you're able to make forms look clean and professional without displaying too many or irrelevant variables on your catalog items. Now that we've covered what a catalog UI policy is and its benefits, let's go ahead and create one. In today's example, I'm going to create two new variables on the MacBook Pro catalog item for tracking if the request is for a new hire and then the new hire start date. For the catalog UI policy, I'm going to apply it to the new hire start date variable so it only displays if the new hire variable is true. To get started, go into the navigation filter and type in maintain items and click on the maintain items module located underneath the service catalog application. From this module, I'm going to search for the Apple MacBook Pro 15 inch catalog item and open up the record. From the catalog item form, scroll down to the bottom of the form, click on the variables related list, and then click on the new button. From here, I'm going to create a yes no variable called new hire and set the order to 500 and then set the default value to no. This variable will be used to determine when the catalog UI policy for the new hire start date variable will apply. Now I'm going to create another variable for the new hire start date. For this one, I'm going to make it a date field and set the order to 600. Now that we've created the two variables, let's create the catalog UI policy to control when the new hire start date variable should be displayed. To do this, click on the Catalog UI Policies related list and click on the New button. A blank Catalog UI Policy form should now load. In the short description field, I'm going to enter Controls when the new hire start date variable is displayed. In the next section of the form, When to apply, from here we're going to define the conditions which have to be met for this Catalog UI Policy to run. So since we want the catalog UI policy to control the display of the new hire start date variable only when the new hire variable is set to true, I'm going to select the new hire variable and then select is yes. Now I'm going to right click on the form header and click save. This will now display the catalog UI policy actions related list. From here we're going to define the action that needs to be taken and in this case it's to display the new hire start date variable. To get started, click on the new button. A blank catalog UI policy action form will now load. In the variable name field, I'm going to select new hire start date and then in the visible field, I'm going to select true. This means when the conditions of this UI policy are met, this action will run and the new hire start date variable will be displayed. Click on the Submit button to create this Catalog UI Policy action. Now that we've created the Catalog UI Policy, let's head over to the Service Portal and take a look at what we've just built. Now that we're on the Apple MacBook Pro Catalog item, you can see that we have the new variable called New Hire, and when we set the variable to Yes, the New Hire Start Date variable is displayed. And it's as simple as that. Creating catalog UI policies is a fairly simple task, and it can provide you with a lot of value when it comes to creating and designing catalog items. 
And that is all for this tutorial on catalog UI policies in ServiceNow.